As soon as the shelves are even slightly stacked, they are gone as soon as they appear. Drivers in the Seattle area can expect a toll increase for the State Route 520 bridge this summer. Seeing all the cougs around here adopting animals, I decided to get one of my own. So voters, for your voices to be heard, make sure you fill out your ballot and mail it off or drop it off at your local ballot drop box. Thank you, Sigmund. After this, find out what WCU plans on doing for their in-person games this spring season. And what basketball star's Nike contract has expired when we return. WSU is one of 29 wineries that are invited to this closed auction every year, and currently it's their first time ever being in this auction, and they plan to come back for more. Disneyland's Adventure Camp is set to open June 4th. Marvel fans will be able to experience this new accession to California Adventures in Anaheim after waiting for over a year due to COVID. It will feature a new Spider-Man attraction, a dining location called Pym Particles Test Kitchen, and an area based on Doctor Strange. You know, we want the whole shebang. We want masks, we want social distance, we want people to get tested, like literally all the safety precautions. Students are signing an online petition on whether or not graduation should be in person at all this year in any form, even suggesting being at Martin Stadium at 25% capacity, rain or shine. Siglali Herrera started a petition on February 11th stating that there should have been more efforts to create a COVID-safe in-person graduation to celebrate the hard work of the 2021 graduates. There's already been two graduations that have been completely online. And I just felt like, you know, okay, it makes sense, you know, the first time around, but I feel like there's a little bit more that could be done the second time around. Herrera is a senior this year and understands that there needs to be precautions, but more can be done to celebrate students. She reached out to the commencement committee about this petition, stating her concerns about the lack of effort and what her ideas were to make it happen. And so I just really sympathize with a lot of my other peers as well who are graduating. And um, honestly, I feel like we're so far along in this process of like dealing with COVID and like knowing what's safe, what's not safe and like how to handle it. Like we have a vaccine on the way, it's getting distributed. And so I felt like personally, like a little bit more could be done um, to celebrate like our students here. And I know that, you know, especially based off of the response I was getting with the petition that a lot of students did want to do that. Another WSU senior, Emily Rose, expresses that she can see both views of having an in-person commencement. She would love to walk in person as she is a first-generation college student, but she also understands the circumstances of the pandemic and that it might not be completed in person. Moving forward, though, I have a lot of friends that are in different cities and states attending university and they're getting ready to graduate. However, their universities were able to plan accordingly to have an in-person graduation by separating the degrees up and then separating groups up and having that gra graduation be outdoors, whether it's at a football stadium or a large area where groups of people can safely have a ceremony for graduates. Graduating commencement ceremonies are normally held here at Beasley Coliseum, but this year seniors will be watching their graduation online. On September 7th, 2020, disaster struck the small eastern Washington towns of Malden and Pine City. Within hours, 80% of the town was destroyed, including the town hall, library, and fire station, along with 121 houses. Going to Malden was my first wildland experience after receiving my red card. Um, it was kind of last minute to get a crew together and leave immediately. Um, the devastation was immense. So many homes were gone that it looked like a war zone. Washington Governor Jay Inslee sent a request for aid to former President Donald Trump in September, and they never received a response. Days after Biden is welcomed into office, he declared Washington's wildfires a disaster and approved public assistance. So um, my job was putting out hotspots. So when a fire burns through uh, like a group of trees, the roots under the tree will burn for a couple of days, if not weeks. So my job was to get, dig up roots that were still hot and then uh, basically make them not hot to put it technically. FEMA deemed the disaster here in Malden and Pine City was not severe enough to warrant individual assistance by FEMA. FEMA sent the letter stating the denial one day after Biden approved the federal disaster declaration. This letter was sent to Paul Kimmel, Pullman Regional Manager of Avista Utilities. Avista is helping with the recovery efforts of the two towns and has 30 days to appeal the denial. In Malden, I'm Mackenzie Dayton with Murrow News 8.